Hello and welcome back. And today we're going to be taking advantage of the new D-Link DWR2101. It is their 5G Wi-Fi 6 mobile router. We've already done our hardware review. And in today's video, we're going to be doing some 5G data SIM testing. We're going to take advantage of this device. We're in a 5G area right now. This is a park on the coastline of the south of England. This is Worthing. And from here, I'm going to be doing some 5G testing here in this park. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to utilize a normal laptop. I'm then going to be testing the 5G connection. Then we're going to test the gigabit LAN connection. And then finally, we're going to move over to a 4G data connection area and see how that compares to give ourselves a sense of relativity. We've got ourselves one of the rare sunny days here in the UK, so hence I'm cracking out the sunglasses, but that may affect some of the screen recording that we're going to be taking advantage of. But let's make our way over to the setup and see just how the DWR performs here on 5G and when it's got that gigabit LAN connection. Let's make our way over to the test setup. So the first test was utilizing the D-Link's own internal speed test mechanic. It's got a little tool built in here. And as you can see, I kicked off the internet speed test there. And this was utilizing that 5G connection. Now, I didn't find these results as compelling as when I did some of the later tests. But we are seeing some quite high activity there on the megabits per second. Certainly the 5G area I was in for this test on the south coast there could have been better, but we can see there a reported download there of 41.9. Now, um, spoiler alert, later in the test there is some higher numbers, but the internal speed test here was a decent enough guide, but I don't find the UI particularly that useful. So let's switch. Now, as you can see, I'd set up the 5G uh, router here with my laptop on the outside on this horrible little park bench just to show you but we will be flicking over to the screen now we've got the first test there we are utilizing a london based speed test here um, on speed test uh, dot fast i believe so we're accessing that now which you can see we're connected via the wi-fi connection we're connected on wi-fi 6 and we've got all the details there on the right we're just setting up for the test now on the left hand side of the screen and first it's going to give us our download there so it rises quite high. I think this reaches into the, the, the mid 40s. Uh, we do do an RJ45 test in a short while as well. But as you can see, we're reaching into those 50s as well, which is pretty good. We even got as high as 54 at one point. But we saw there that speed test there at megabits per second, 53.19 reported there. Now, bear in mind, these are, of course, megabits per second, not megabytes. Um, that's going to be very, very uh, important to make sure you uh, stay relative during this. But it is still a moderately weak um, Wi-Fi test spot here, somewhere in central London or closer to a mast, which a lot of us aren't going to be, would give more speed. So now we'll flick over to the next test. And as you can see, I connected up the D-Link DWR there via the RJ45 Ethernet connection into the laptop as well utilizing a 1 gpe connection there we're not going to exceed any we're not even going to reach 100 to 100 or 9 or so megabytes per second but as you can see we're now on a wired connection i've disabled the wi-fi there and we're using google's inbuilt speed test mechanic there so again we're hitting that 50 um, there on the download a great deal faster than we saw on the previous testing there Google uses um, service a little further away for their testing regimen here. They do randomly select it, but They've got that reported speed there of 46.6 over I believe it was 21 in the end there So we're getting some nice speeds there using 5g on the router and 1 GBE network connectivity Indeed, while I had these connected, I flicked over to Fast to get a reported average from them. And a couple of times we saw on there, I think it reached 60 and 58 respectively. I'm sure it will tell us there. But as you can see, I had there the wired connection. There's all the layout there using a standard gigabit connectivity there. Um, and overall, the speeds, I've got to say, pretty good. I know a number of you were still hoping for this to break into the triple figures, but you've got to bear in mind that the area we are utilizing right now is um, lesser coverage. I don't know if you saw the number of bars on the 5G. And now we're making our way over to the 4G connection. And as you can see, my cat there in the background, I'm gonna leave out the outtakes of when she knocked over the router. But for now, we're using a 4G connection and it was a stronger strength 4G, it has to be said. But even with 4G, uh, more bars than we saw for the 5G connection, 
the download there isn't quite doing the same. If you look at the top right of the screen, you can see the reported bandwidth there coming from that connection uh, and how it's fluctuating quite dramatically, something that didn't really happen during the 5G testing. Um, obviously, in a greater area of 4G connectivity, we might get better performance figures, but still, those aren't exactly overwhelming figures there for the 4G. And the 5G in a location less than 400 meters from the previous location, still very, very good indeed. Um, do go to the link in the description for more information about the test we did and the locations they were performed within. But let's go back to the outside world. Well, that pretty much sums it up for us. It has to be said that we've run our tests and the 5G connectivity was pretty good. It has to be said, we weren't hitting any of those highs, the reported 1.6 gigabits per second, but then I believe we'd have to be exceedingly close to a mast in order to take advantage of those. On top of that, we definitely saw performance differences there between 4G and 5G, but of course, when you utilize this device in your setup, things may be very, very different. Now, this has been an interesting series of tests for us, and we will, of course, be performing some more Wi-Fi 6 tests on this little D-Link box but for now in terms of our hardware review and in terms of the coverage I'm pretty chuffed that I bought this for 350 Nicker. I'm not sending it back I'm quite pleased with it and no doubt if you do see me at trade shows you are going to see me utilizing this device but let's wrap things up thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have clicked like and if you do want to learn more about this device and other Wi-Fi 6 appliances and of course 5G then do click subscribe otherwise I will see you next time.